So now we've got them laid on top of each other, like lovers. I need a knife. Welcome to my kitchen. I was worried my kitchen looked a little bare, so I got one of my plants. I haven't named him yet. I don't know what to name him, but he's there. He's just chilling. We're gonna be making checkerboard cookies. How's the visibility? I can see fine. I can see great, and it's actually not hot. I was worried that this mask was gonna be like really sweaty and my face was gonna grow mushrooms by like the end of this, but we're good. I have the recipe posted in the description below on the YouTube video for both the cookies as well as the icing. Both of these recipes are vegan. I do have hands. Yeah, I have hands. I have a body. I have arms. I even have feet. I might put on um, slippers though, cause my kitchen floor is like really hard and uncomfortable. I made all of the cookie dough ahead of time cause that's like the more time consuming part, but I am gonna make icing on camera for you guys. The icing is vegan. It's just like powdered sugar, agave and honey, some vanilla, and then food coloring. I got these food coloring zzzzs on shit. These. Checkerboard cookies are really easy to make. They're just like basic icebox cookies. I made them with all-purpose flour, but if you wanted to make them gluten-free, you could use rice flour. And this is leftover cookie dough that I am probably going to eat. There's no egg in it, so I won't get salmonella, so don't give me a lecture. I guess I can put some ingredients in bowls. I've got my fun little cute bowls. I love these dishes. This one has a cat on it. And it's pink! Royal icing is a bit tricky. This icing is dry, it's sat out overnight. I would highly recommend, if you're new to using royal icing with cookies, to always let it completely dry. Minimum four to five hours. So you're not gonna make royal icing and put like these really intricate cookie designs on last minute before a party. Don't try, you will fail. <laughs> I just let it dry overnight. I didn't put it in an airtight container. I wouldn't recommend putting it in an airtight container. I also wouldn't recommend putting them in your refrigerator or freezer with the icing because royal icing, um, the humidity of the fridge or sometimes like in a container, it will lock, in, I almost fell over. It will <laughs> lock in the humidity and then your cookies will be wet. You can just leave them sitting out. I'd recommend putting them up on a shelf where the cat can't reach them. You don't have to worry about the cookies going stale if they're out overnight because the icing sort of acts as like a, just a sealant, I don't know, like an epoxy of some sort. I'm gonna make some more royal icing. Ashbur, can you buddy? Come say hi to everyone. I'm gonna have a glass of wine and I'm gonna have to drink it through a straw. Ashbur, do you wanna say hi to everybody? Oh, don't sit on the microphone. He doesn't like my mask. Buddy. Oh. Here. <laughs> Honey, it's me! Ow! You just stabbed me in the boob! Here he is, everyone! This is Casper. He is so scared. You hide everyone on TV. You're on TV. He doesn't like his reflection either. I'm so sorry. I've just given him a ton of anxiety. <laughs> oh, he farted. Okay. I'm gonna put you down. Go make farts somewhere else. I'm getting frustrated with the audio problem, so I'm just gonna have a glass of wine while I bake. Yes, this is a Burger King straw. I have to drink this. How do I do this? Ah. That was gross. Oh, wine through a straw. No. So we're gonna make the royal icing now. I forgot this is supposed to be a baking stream where I'm teaching you how to do things. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. We will get back to baking. I have to show you guys my giant bottle of Bacardi. I am going to let you guys guess how big you think this bottle is. Pa-bam. <laughs> and I love it. And it still has the, this is as far as we've gotten. Four liters? I think. Um, three liters. I got this in Canada. I'm so scared I'm gonna drop it. Oh! I actually do need to take some vodka from my bar because we are going to be using vodka with the icing when we do some painting. I was talking about the dough, that's where I left off. So I'm not the biggest fan of cling wrap um, because I think it's a huge fucking pain in the ass, but I would highly recommend whenever you make dough ahead of time, please wrap it in something. Wrap it before you tap it. 
gonna go there. So you need two shots of vodka. Oh, I'm like <laughs> gonna break something. I said I could see in the mask and I kind of lied. My depth perceptions, just a just a hair off. I'm getting powdered sugar all over my countertop. Oh, I like putting it into bowls. I was gonna do all of this ahead of time and not on camera, and I was gonna make it really educational and super professional, and that didn't happen. But now, we're gonna make gold icing for the detailing for the cookies. So I need to get another one of my mixing bowls that I got as a Christmas gift from my boyfriend's mother, who is not my boyfriend anymore, but I would probably still hang out with his mom. She was cool. We liked the same things at Panera Bread. Maybe I should name this plant Irwin. Sometimes when I tap spoons on the side of bowls, Casper thinks that someone's knocking on the door. I wonder if I could make him run to the door if I knock on the... Okay. Oh my god, okay. I just made my phone go off. <laughs> Magic! Oh, I, my UPS package is on hold. Fuck you! I promise my kitchen is not usually this messy when I do cooking. I'm actually very, like, clean when I cook. I burped. I'm actually very clean when I cook. I'm kind of obsessive about it. I'm a nightmare to date. <laughs> oh god, yep. Exhibit A. So now we're gonna mix some of this shit up. And it's gonna taste real good and sugary and sweet. Here's what our icing sort of looks like. Yeah, it looks like someone threw up into a bunch of cocaine. You know what, I feel like with my tiny physique and this mask, I kind of look like one of those stitch punks from the movie Nine. Why not tape the webcam to your mask and do it? <laughs> or I could treat it like one of those found footage films, like I'm baking a cake and then like, <gasps> zombies. So we're gonna add some gold. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do five. We're gonna do five, I said. Oh, we did six. Someone got excited. Okay, when they said gold, I was thinking gold. This is like fucking yellow. Whatever. I've only got a little bit of wine left. I think I'm gonna finish it. <sighs> well, that was just okay. I'm gonna get the icing bag ready. Always ask before inserting your hand into someone. Roll this down and we're gonna put the icing in it. Fill it up like a little belly. So you, ow, my hip. What did you say in chat? Your sleep paralysis demon is really informative. I'm your sleep paralysis demon? Well, thank you. I was gonna go get slippers, wasn't I? I said that at some point. I still haven't gotten my slippers. I also kind of want to drink more or eat something. We're just chilling. Nothing to see here. Very riveting content, I know. Aw, you made me ink. You can't really tell when I twirl around like this. Not my aesthetic, that little octopus girl from Fighting Nemo, but 100% my personality. <laughs> Actually, I feel like I'd be the teacher. Yeah, I'd be the stingray. I would lead a bunch of minors to like a cliff and then be shocked when a parent scolded me for it. Oopsies. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna pour it. Oh my God, it looks like SpongeBob. Ziz's skin is melting. So now we've got our icings. Shit! Oh, I can't lick my fingers because I'm wearing the mask. Oh, hello, little. Do you want to say hi to everyone too? Come here. This is my roommate's cat. You guys got to see Casper, the dog, but this is little the cat. She just blends right in. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up. Um, oh, I got my birth control implant put in my arm the other day, and now my arm is still, it's like still sore. Birth control implant, what? When ladies don't want babies, we get things put in our arms. <laughs> so we got this boy. I'm gonna put him in the fridge to chill for a moment because the dough is getting kind of warm. And to cut it, I don't want it smushing. Okay. I got some barbecue sauce in there. I should really take care of at some point. I'll do that later. Ooh. 
Sorry, that was satisfying. <laughs> and I can't wait to throw this shit away. I hate cling wrap. Cling wrap is like the step parent that's actually really helpful. You don't want to like them, but they, they get the job done. I'm gonna smush more of this. I am a child. Welcome to my playground. I need more wine. <laughs> <laughs> I so could use a rolling pin, but I don't care enough to go looking for my rolling pin now. It's too late. While it does that, we're gonna preheat our oven. This is great. Use a wine bottle. Oh, you're right, I could. Gray, the wine bottle is rolling as a rolling pin substitute. Oh! You guys like my mug? It's so cute and pink. It's got a little lid. All right. Oh, it did. We're gonna preheat our oven to 350. I would not bake them for more than 12 minutes. So let's actually cut these sons of bitches. I put the vanilla on top of the chocolate, but you could put the chocolate on top of the vanilla if you want. It doesn't matter. So long as they are alternating. So now we've got them laid on top of each other, like lovers. I need a knife. We're gonna cut <laughs> it into a square. You can make these as wide as you want, as your dough allows. Oh my. The way that's sticking up looks kind of phallic, doesn't it? You need to go down now. So now that we've got our dough in a square, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna slice it down the middle again. And then we're gonna layer it again, like that. And if you want to smush it down a little bit, you certainly can. For this, I might use my rolling pin. <laughs> okay, so now what we do is we're going to cut this bad boy. And again, the way you cut these will depend on how thick you want your cookies to be. But we've got this now, this piece. We're going to lay it like that. We're going to cut another chunk. Try to have it be the same width. Don't beat yourself up if it's not perfect. We're gonna lay it, you're gonna flip it around and lay it like that. Like that. Oh fuck, which way was I doing it? We're just gonna slice. The end ones usually don't look that pretty. So you can just kinda, and I know these don't actually look that good. I think it doesn't help, I've been so nervous with the stream. I've definitely been messing up a lot, but it's fine. And you know what? Baking is about having fun. So if you mess up, as long as something tastes good, it's okay. You don't have to be perfect to be enough. Right, cookies? Right. You are going to be enough to satiate my 2 a.m. hunger. Fuck! I broke you in half, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, what were your children say? There are no mistakes, just <laughs> unintentional results. Hey, that's a fun quote. I should get that tattooed on my ass. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. So what part does Chef Casper get to eat? Oh, none of this, unfortunately. He can't have chocolate. I remember when they invented chocolate. Ooh, look at them. Ooh, okay. We're gonna put them in the oven. Ooh, the top of this is warm. We are gonna paint on these bad boys. These are specifically baking paintbrushes. I don't know what the difference is between a baking paintbrush and a paintbrush paintbrush. I think it's big paintbrush trying to make us buy a bunch of different ones to make more money for their grand corporation. Um, have I brought any flowers home from work yet? No, I have not. <laughs> I really want to though. I did bring this guy home from work though. Please don't pay attention to how messy my stovetop is. I'm embarrassed. I'm gonna try not to mess up in front of the camera. <laughs> Firmly grasp it, but don't squeeze too hard because you don't want to cause something to rupture. Yeah, I messed this one up. Okay, it's fine. Take two. 
Okay, one last time. <laughs> <laughs>